Hi, Cicerine here with another video, and this is going to be a video covering third-party tools that are super useful for Path of Exile. So if that's what you're interested in, stay tuned. So in this video, we're going to cover the PoE Wiki, PoE DB, Craft of Exile, DivCards.io mention, rip, uh, and PoE Exchange. So sometimes you might Google something and it'll come up with Path of Exile fandom, Com. This is an outdated wiki. It very often will show at the top, but this wiki is really bad. It is not maintained. It is super incorrect with a lot of the information, whereas the PoE wiki is officially hosted by Grinding Year Games. And there is even an extension that will, if you click on a fandom link, put you straight to this wiki and the correct article instead. But uh, the, what I do is usually I will go just search for PoE wiki and then whatever I need, like axes, body armor, etc. And uh, this is super useful for a lot of things. Honestly, like there's so many things in Path of Exile that you just won't know unless you look it up, like how a lot of the mitigation works and leech and things like that, even though that as things have been made simpler over the years. Uh, and also base types, right? So you can just look up body armors um, and look through the different bases. This is super useful. And then you have same with like weapons and stuff like that. And you have vendor recipes. Um, I always end up looking up where, what the different Valorb outcome has for different things. But uh, there are a lot of vendor recipes and things like that. So using the Wikipedia, super invaluable when you're a super new player. And I just wanted to make sure that the majority of you know which Wikipedia is the official one. Next up, and this is honestly probably my favorite thing. It is invaluable tool. Um, really cool i just i love it i'm a huge fan of this website it's craft of exile and the way it works is you have a calculator um where you can simulate a lot of different things so i'll show you a really cool use for that now will be um i really like it for cluster jewels um so let's say we're gonna do fossils now and then let's say i want like mage hunter and Conjured Wall. I, this is actually something I used to roll a lot. And then I'm like, oh, but I don't want to use Quad Resonators. Let's, let's compute the selection for um, Triple Resonators. And there are so many of these where it ends up being incredibly good. So big fan of them for Cluster Jewels. And there are so many others as well that are really good. So here in 1 in 11, on average, you will hit this combo. So that's super potent. And then another quick example of why the calculator is really good. One-handed weapons, convoking wand. And then through things like this, we're able to find out how to make cheap plus twos, right? So now we can do compute selection here. And it basically goes through all the calculations because we have all the data on how rare or how not rare things are. And uh, it'll show us exactly. And it has a simulator and an emulator as well. I'm about to go through at least the emulator. I don't think I've ever used the simulator, but super, super valuable tool. I don't think I would be having as much success crafting without it. So now that it is finished computing, you can see that with a corroded, giant, metallic, and shuddering, it's a 1 in 12. So something that would maybe be like 100,000 chaos to hit naturally with chaos spam is a 1 in 12 with fossils. So very, very powerful. And honestly, playing around with this, if you see an item that might be tricky to craft and you plug it into Craft of Exile, you might end up seeing like a really overpowered fossil combo. Um, so it's, it's worth switching and playing around with. Next, we'll go to emulator and say, for example, I want to play around with um, making an emulator or something, right? Like, it's just so good to do that safely without being worried about breaking an item. So I'm like, okay, maybe I want to make the item I have in-game. Like, you, you can copy-paste as well, like import um, or just make it. But I'm like, okay, what, how would I make a plus two amulet from a plus one all skill gems? So... Obviously, I would at this point imprint it, right? In game. Um, you don't need to imprint here in POB because you can just like control C. And then I'm like, okay, I had a suffix. Can I work with that? So then I'm like, I can play around. I do like, ooh, let's see. Uh, where's multi mod? And then I'm like, ooh. And then can I roll attack mods? And then I do augment fire. Boom. 100% of the time, plus two amulet, right? So sometimes you might hit a prefix and think like, oh, maybe I do need to hit a suffix. And you can play around with this and really learn a lot of crafting. And it doesn't cost any currency, right? Worst case scenario, just do control Z. 
So super nice for really like playing around, figuring out how things work. And especially if you're following a build guide, let's say you're following one of my build guides and we have an explanation for, for how to do something, like maybe how to do a bow, and you maybe play around with it in Craft of Excel first to make sure that you have the instructions right and that nothing went wrong there. Um, because it's uh, actually very easy to create a lot of really good items in this game. Like for example, this one's decent. I just need to hit an annul. Say it didn't annul that there. Um, and then I do cannot roll attack mods. And then boom, plus three bow. So having this tool to be able to safely practice with currency, I love it. It is the best thing ever. I do want to have a mention of a div cards.io. Rip. It has now been completely replaced because we have, uh, you can just hover over maps in game to see where div cards drop. So rip, but it served us beautifully. Thank you, Mariner. And then here we have PODB. I don't even know if this will be updated in time. This is very scary because normally we get loads of stuff early, but um, we do have tons of useful stuff here. This is honestly maybe the most used third party website. So if you're trying to figure out like what mods are on bows, for example, like what item level do I need? How rare is it to roll? Everything here, super useful. Here we can see we need um, Merciless is item level 83. And then you can go through here and be like, oh, wow, there is a 86. So, you know, if you don't need 100% wed, you actually benefit from having a lower item level. So if you're making a fist bow, 83 is more useful. And then you can maybe be like, well, what about plus two arrows? Well, that's also 86. So. You have to try to like weigh the pros and cons of um of what you're using there another thing like you do have more info as well like for example the um eater implicits xr implicits uh vol orbs and stuff like that so i usually go through and look at that another thing as well is you can search for bosses now it is a little bit tricky to figure out which one is the current version and stuff like that um, like here you see Atlas 5 Exile Wild and stuff like that, Atlas 5 Throne. But um, usually I do this on stream and people help figure out the correct version. That's like the worst part. But you can get a rough idea on manually calculating the abilities for things that um, Path of Building doesn't have. So here you can see, for example, the actual raw damage and then um, calculate everything manually. And I end up doing this quite a lot for the things that aren't in POB. And it, it is very useful to know that you can see this. And more importantly, this can be really important when there are new monsters added. Uh, Void Jaguars being one of them was twice the damage of any other monster in the game. I think it's been nerfed three times since I died first to it. But uh, yeah, sometimes you'll see some messed up shit. And I do want to mention Path of Building as well. This is the most important third-party tool. I do have a separate video fully covering this, so make sure you watch that. But I just want to mention it in this video as well. It's so important. And now we're going to take a look at Path of Exchange. So this is basically a third-party trading site, and it's specifically like focused on bulk trading and they're adding services as well so really really cool lots of things you can do and obviously there's been a lot of drama in the community with the owner of tft being well a massive dickhead and banning people because they would refuse to sell them items and stuff like that so you know if you don't like tft and don't really want to use that this is a great alternative with a lot of users already and loads of cool features coming so there's a lot of things you can like bulk trade so you could set up like a package of scarabs for example to sell to people now we do have the currency exchange coming as well in game which is going to be really great especially for buying one thing at a time but there will still be a lot of people that want to buy you know maybe a few thousand scarabs at a time and then that the gold cost might be really high we don't really know how the in-game auction house will be and obviously there won't be any services uh and things like that so it will be really interesting to see how that dynamic works out. But either way, we have PoA Exchange, so I figured we would mention that as well. And now we're going to hear from the creator of PoA Exchange, Centrax, who's going to show up a little bit of how it works. And a really cool feature is that you can bulk list maps and even use like regex searching for already rolled maps, which is something you can't do on the in-game auction house. So I figured that would be a cool thing to show off. Yeah, really nice feature is that you can, for example, select eight mod maps or normal maps with even regex support that you can paste the regex in game. So you could select your latest uh, last um, listing, which you can see here the items which are 
selected in the stash tab and also selected by you and you can then um, see the categories you have selected so you will post a listing for eight mod maps mm -hmm. and I also activated um, that I allow the user to search your stash tab with your rack X. If you don't want this, deselect this and you can sell the maps randomly. You can't filter the you uh, can't filter your maps. Okay. So if, if I pause this, I um, can see the listing on this uh, bike sell listings page, and I can show uh, all the details, for example. And here are the maps listed, even if with custom grouping, if you really want to. Nice. And where you can um, define a custom price for uh, custom properties, which you are not allowed to, if um, if you haven't set this previously, basically. You can now select a wreck X, for example, like copy this one. So I, I want to filter this um, listing by the wreck X. Here we can see the quantity. This is only six out of eight. Yeah. Uh, maps are filtered and I want to select uh, six, but I can't select seven or eight because uh, it's not allowed. I can lower the quantity or deselect items, yeah. but this is uh, how many maps are matched by the WAC X, so I can sh uh, even show the items Perfect. which are filtered by the WAC X and uh, copy this afterwards. And the, se uh, the seller will get a notification and can see the maps you selected here or filtered um, and can update your listing afterwards without even that you have to. Um, move to a random location or have to wait a certain amount of time that you can update your listing to um, because you the ggg api will not update uh, such frequently so yeah it's really handy that you can yeah update your listing with the items you actually sell nice that's really and good and there are services as well on uh, this right yeah right yeah you can see that i have added the services page for example, this is uh, equivalent to the bike trade. You can see all the services for this current selected service. Um, you can also see the rewards if you want. And okay. then you can select a service. Currently I have this service active and it's currently work in progress, but you get the idea yeah. that, um, so that I can see the service, the name, I can watch this, but this is only a one-time watch to the seller because uh, it's easier to maintain and, and it can't be abused by the watch farmers. Right. So this is really handy because you also see that you have uh, trusted the person because you have ah. watch and that's, I think, it's really, uh, really uh, yeah, handy Yeah, so if you to, trade with uh, the same person this. multiple times, you can't vouch them multiple times. You can't watch them multiple times. Yeah. But this is, I think it's really handy. And then yeah, you can copy good. copy the Whisper and uh, Whisper is an in-game. In but there is also, I will also support another way that you can, uh, that the seller can manage the, uh, the listings the seller has. For example, in this table, the seller can um, say that uh, only he invites the user, that uh, he manages the invitations. Ah. That um, you don't have to spam whisper the sellers and uh, get mad about that you don't uh, get invited or something and have to and get frustrated by this. So the seller will manage this and invites if he's ready yeah. to invite the next the next uh, the next people yeah awesome. the next people in the in the queue. Awesome, and, that's really cool. And if you pause this. There's also another page where you can manage this at uh, the cell actually. So here you will can uh, invite the people and update your listing after uh, the service. If you um, do any quick changes, because here on this table only the active services are listed. Cool. Yeah, awesome. That's it. Thank you so much for showing us that. So there you have it, guys. Great feature from PUA Exchange, so definitely one to keep track of for the upcoming league. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I might have missed some third-party tools that I don't use. I don't use that many. There's also auto hotkey for a logout macro and stuff like that. But uh, either way, 
Hope you guys enjoy it. Feel free to discuss third party tools in the comments as well. More importantly, sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do. More importantly.